my Jeff Buckley story is um, again one of those ones that's a mixture of something sort of serious and wonderful, but also faintly ridiculous. In that, um, I think Ben actually bumped into him when we were in New York. Um, ben went off to get a haircut and. It turned out that our hairdresser, who was a friend of ours, also knew Jeff Buckley. So he came in at the same time to get his hair cut. Um, so they got chatting, the two of them. And it turned out that um, Jeff Buckley was going to be appearing at Glastonbury that year. And so were we. Ben and I were doing a little acoustic set. So Jeff said, well, you know, we should get together and do a song together. Um, and Ben came home and told me this story, which I thought, wow, that's amazing. But, you know, is anything going to come of it? Uh, and we didn't see Jeff Buckley again. So, you know, we didn't work out anything we were going to do. So I just assumed nothing was going to happen. Then come the day of Glastonbury, there we are backstage in our little kind of prefab dressing room. Um, it's about five minutes before we're due to go on stage. And Jeff Buckley suddenly appears in the dressing room with a guitar on going, right, great. What what song are we doing? Um, so I said, we, we, we can't do this. We haven't rehearsed anything. What do you mean? What song are we doing? And he went, no, 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 come on. This is great. We've got to do a song together. Um, and it turned out the only thing we really knew was the song by the Smiths, um, I Know It's Over. So I think we ran through it twice in the dressing room. And then suddenly it was time to go on stage. Ben and I went out on stage, did about five or six songs. And then Jeff came on and joined us. It was only about midday, but I used to suffer from terrible stage fright. So I'd got in the habit of having a couple of drinks before I went on stage. Um, it was one of those awful cloudy days. Um, so the audience, you know, it's only midday. They've only just started waking up, really. So they were met with this slightly startling sight, I think, of me a bit drunk on stage, Jeff Buckley doing his Jeff Buckley thing of, you know, starting the song quite straight and then sort of going all around the houses on the melody and just taking it wherever he could think of. Um, and we just kind of trod on each other's toes and, um, yeah, slightly clumsily got through the song. But because it was before the days of everything being recorded on iPhones. I don't think there's any record of it anywhere, probably for the best. <laughs>